Hello everyone. In today's video, we are joined by Juan Farias. He is a loan officer in our Orlando branch. Welcome Juan. Hey, good morning, Autumn. Thank you for having me today. Yes, of course. Thank you for being here. So Juan, I feel like most people don't give their debt to income ratio or DTI really a second thought until it's time to buy a house. So today I wanted to talk to you about what exactly DTI is, how it affects the mortgage process, and what we can do to improve our DTI. So let's get started. All right, Juan, question number one. What is DTI? DTI is your debt to income. Um, basically what we do is it's your capacity to borrow against how much gross monthly income you bring home and it's expressed in the form of a percentage. Question number two, how does DTI affect the mortgage process? DTI is a safeguard. It's there to ensure that you don't overextend yourself as a borrower on a monthly payment for your mortgage. So when we uh, calculate your debt to income ratio, your DTI, we're gonna factor in your monthly mortgage payment that you're gonna have, your projected monthly mortgage payment, or if you already have one, uh, any uh, installment loans, any revolving credit. So that would be such as student loans, car payments, any credit cards. And then when all that is calculated, we come up with your, your debt to income ratio. All right, Juan, question number three, the final question, how can we improve our DTI? That's an excellent question. What you wanna do is try to ensure you have uh, the lowest possible debts. It'll ensure that you're able to qualify for the maximum. But the way that we're gonna do is we're gonna take all your minimum monthly obligations reported on your credit. So I'm gonna test you a little bit and give you a pop quiz. Um, let's say you have a credit card for $100 a month and the minimum payment is $25. And then you have another one for 300 bucks a month and the minimum payment is $35. Which of those two do you wanna pay off first? I personally would pay the $100 one off. You got it 100% correct. In this scenario, that's the best choice. You want to pay off the lowest debt with the highest monthly minimum obligation. So we can do that financial analysis for you as well. We'll run your credit and we'll give you some feedback as to, you know, hey, if you did this and this, we can get you uh, to qualify for here, things like that. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Juan, for being here today. Definitely, definitely. That's what we're here for. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you have a burning mortgage related question, leave it in the comments below and maybe your question will be featured in a future video.